Welcome back. In the last video, we added validation to this form. Validation that insists that the input fields are entered. Okay, now where did we do that? Where did we put the validation? We put it into the controller. So in the update method, is one place we put the validation so request validate and here are the rules now this is the controller very quickly um, the controller is going to get cluttered up with uh, validation rules so a better method is to extract out uh, this validation into something that's called a form request to create a form request we need to go to the uh, command line so it's php artisan make request uh, we'll give it a name um, we'll call it ticket update request press enter on that request created successfully but where let's have a look so you'll notice now that within the HTTP folder we now have a requests folder and there's ticket update request opening that um, the first thing we need to do is change return true for the authorized method and rules is where we need to copy the rules that we had here so we'll actually cut those out. We don't need them in uh, the update method of the controller anymore. We'll put the rules in here. Now we're actually returning the array of rules here so we can get rid of uh, this bump that we copied. Um, right, get rid of that. OK, let's copy the name of the class, the ticket update request, copy that name because we're going to replace the request object here with ticket update request. Now we'll need to uh, pull in the import statement up here. Da -da. So we've just pulled that in. Uh, so now that we are type hinting the request by ticket update request that will implicitly perform the validation that we specified here like magic so let's just save that back over on the page let's just make sure we've not broken anything so uh, go back go back in blank out these inputs update okay so everything is still being validated as it was before so we've not broken anything which is good let's just satisfy ourselves that the validation really is using the uh, form request that we've created here let's add a new rule uh, for a minimum length of 10 for the description so go back over um, go back back in now let's just type in one the description must be at least 10 characters so it appears that it's working let's just undo that save that just go back go back in do the same thing this time it likes it so that just proves to ourselves that the validation really is hooked up to uh, this form request. Where else do we validate? Well, we validate when we're creating a new ticket as well as updating an existing one. So that's the store method. So notice we've got the old request uh, object type hinting here. If we change that to ticket update request, as we did with the update method, um, that will implicitly perform the validation before creating the ticket here. 
So save that and we can test that out. Add a new ticket, uh, leave them blank. Oh dear, didn't work. Aha, you know what I'm thinking. I'm thinking that the validation did work uh, because we're not redirected anywhere else but back to the page. I just think we haven't put in the um, error message display on the page. So let's just check that now. So let's go to resources, views, tickets. Now if we have missed it out of uh, the, the create view, we'll need to copy it from show. So um, what have we got? We've got Okay, we've got a conditioned class here. If there's an error, then uh, put is invalid in the class. So let's copy this, and it goes after form control. Um, okay, copy that. Now let's go into create. And where's the description? There it is. So we've got a class of form control, and indeed, as we suspected, it's missing all the error handling. So just put that in there. Just going to copy everything from the um, from the show view. So let's oh, how to copy this easily. Let's just copy it like this, and that goes directly after the input. So that will go at the end, just down here. So let's just check this. Errors has description, errors first description. Let's just save that and test out what we've done so far. Go back, add new ticket, add. Aha, so the validation that we've just added to the description is working so that means that we can copy what we've done for description to summary as well so back in the code again we'll copy what we did in the show view just because we've already done it so uh, the class there right to the end copy that and in create there we go, just there, and there's also the actual displaying the alert, copy that, over here, okay, that's looking good, save that, over on the page, let's go back, add new ticket, oh, we've done something wrong. I think I know what this is. Um, summary. Okay, let's go back to the code. Uh, for the summary, with the old function, we're trying to reinstate the old value when the form was submitted, or if there is no value, the summary of the current ticket. But there is no current ticket, we're creating a new one. So let's just get rid of this. We don't need anything in there. Save that, back to the page, and let's just go back, start afresh, and click add. Okay, that's looking much better. We've got validation for both the summary and the description, and it's coming from the function store. It's coming from this class, the ticket update request where we have transferred our validation rules. Way. The rules that uh, we can specify here are very basic. Uh, for example, we've got uh, required on the summary, so we need to enter that. Um, we've also seen minimum length, so you can specify that an input has to have a minimum length. But what about more complex validation? For example, in our ticket management system, we might want to allow um, a blank description if the ticket we are creating 
is at the open status but we might want to make the uh, description mandatory if we're creating a ticket that's at in progress or closed so um, if we want to do that allow a blank description for status open uh, it's a little tricky albeit impossible to create that validation rule here fortunately Laravel has such a thing as custom validation rules uh, which we're going to um, create and look at in the next video